In a standard toilet, we put the cleaning liquid round the ring of the toilet and in one flush, the liquid has all gone. We are usually not using any more liquid in the same day. To save the amount of cleaning liquid for many times, we are using the top channel, which is built on top of the water channel, and we are putting the cleaning liquid to the holes in the rim of the toilet bowl. As you can see, the cleaning liquid drips down and we are flushing the toilet. Some more of the cleaning liquid drips down into the toilet. Now I'd like to show you how the ventilation works. I'm going to use some smoke. Instead of sitting on the toilet, I'm using some glass so you can see the smoke. The smoke is the imitation of the smell. Now I'm turning on the ventilator with the remote control and the ventilation activates. I hope you can see the movement of the air underneath the glass. So the smoke disappears into the toilet and stays in the soil pipe meaning it is, does not let the stench come back up. We can regulate the speed of the ventilator by pressing plus, which increases the speed, or we can press minus to slow down. This remote control remembers the last speed used. To help people who can't hear very well, I have designed a light that flashes every five seconds to show it is on. Now you can clearly see the smoke has completely gone. If you forget to turn off the fan, after 30 minutes the remote control will automatically switch the ventilator off. But it is best to remember to turn off the ventilator to save battery life. 